So the Academy Center of the Arts is a really holistic organization. So uh, it's more than just a historic theater. Obviously, the historic theater is a landmark, and it's what people's eyes are drawn to uh, whenever they're coming to Main, to Main Street here in Lynchburg. Uh, but the organization provides uh, youth education programs, access programs uh, for communities of ours here that may not be able to afford the arts or may have uh, barriers to the arts. Uh, we provide uh, space to partner organizations, both performing arts, nonprofit organizations, as well as social service organizations. And we have a pottery studio, we have galleries, we have a second theater too, that's a wonderful, uh, flexible black box space. So it's a really dynamic organization. We also have a bus, which is a mobile classroom unit that delivers arts programming uh, offsite as well. So it's a, an exciting, dynamic organization and more than just a historic building. So here at the Academy Center of the Arts, we offer uh, arts service is the way we view it for uh, the community of Lynchburg, which is really about, we think about public and civic health. But the way that that manifests itself is in performances. So we have national touring acts that happen here in the theater. This theater houses uh, community-based performance groups as well too. Uh, some professional, but some uh, also done uh, as by amateurs. This, the theaters also house our education performing uh, arts programs. And these education programs also get facilitated through uh, fine arts, visual arts activity that happen in our studio spaces behind the building here. Uh, we also deliver uh, visual arts and performing arts programs through our AIM program, which is the Academy of Motion program that goes off-site. Uh, our galleries uh, participate in First Fridays here in Lynchburg every single month. And so there's a really dynamic set of programs and ways that we deliver mission here in the city throughout the year. We firmly believe that a healthy community really has to have the arts present. The arts are a utility for community enrichment, community connectivity, and if we know, I mean, COVID was proof beyond anything we knew before, right, or, or solidified what we understand about the importance of, of community connectivity, the ability to share, exchange ideas, come together. Uh, the arts provide that. The, the arts also provide a really healthy uh, way to express how we feel, what we think, and provide a medium to do that that is, uh, is productive and forward moving. We also think that quality of life ties back to this ability to engage in creative endeavors, uh, whether that is experiencing something as an audience member and having that really rich, incredible experience of, of that exchange that happens with a live performer and audience, or whether that is an individual themselves performing a, a piece of performance or creating a, a painting or, or doing a piece of pottery. That is, uh, that's what makes life worth a living in, in our opinion here. And it's critical that we're here and we do as much as we can and we reach as many people as we can to try to make this a, a healthy community in a time where connectivity and the ability to express in, in healthy, productive ways can be really, really difficult. When people come to the Academy Center of the Arts, what they can expect to see depends on the day that they come, which is what's exciting about this place. Um, some days you'll come and there will be Wynton Marsalis Lincoln Center Jazz here in the theater. Some days you'll come and it could be Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood performing here in the theater with the theater filled with lots of little kids. If you come on a Friday at the beginning of the month, you're gonna see gallery openings in our galleries. If you come that same Friday night, you might see a pottery date night happening in the pottery studio. Um, you also may end up coming down to the warehouse space and participating in uh, Empty Bowls, which is an event we do every year that supports uh, the Daily Bread, which is a, uh, a service organization here in the community that feeds the poor. So it's a really dynamic organization, really depending what day, what season, you're gonna see a little something a little bit different and there's always something for, for just about everybody.